the manhwa or novel used in this video is the beginning after the end the topic is the disciplinary committee react to arthur levin part 1 the timeline is during the earlier days of the formation of the disciplinary committee some audio has been muted or changed due to copyright reasons the edits used in the video will belong to their rightful creators and i don't own any of them i have tried my best to credit every one of them possible but if someone wasn't a part of the credits then feel free to send me a mail or dm me on insta at zorvagacha and i will get back to you as quickly as possible you can dm me for credits or if you don't wish for me to use edits in my videos or any future topics which i will happily abide by all right enough talking let's get to the video 12 year old who had a bond with a dragon, had defeated a veteran adventurer using only his wind and earth attribute mana, which, he had told me once, were his weakest. What more was there to him? If I ask... But why was there such a heavy feeling in this room? Why did this eight-year-old child have the type of aura I had only ever felt in the presence of the King of Sapin himself? No, that wasn't right. The atmosphere in this room was even heavier than what I had experienced when I was with the King. Because I'm about to eviscerate your pathetic little companions right before your eyes. I truly felt like a deity. <laughs> anticlimactic so now all that's left to do is seal the unreborn mother and this war will be over what exactly makes you think that the war is over my fellow trainer we ain't squash this shit pick a bitch up then i drop the bitch p-o-p-i-m-p i need money bitch so get on time 
After my escape from the city, they charged me with a bunch of crimes. Destruction of property, vandalism, disorderly conduct, extreme negligence, reckless evading, indecent exposure, assault, third degree manslaughter, parking illegally, second degree manslaughter. I can't believe you were framed for all of that. Framed? I come from the land of Asuras, and I'm what you lesser races call a deity. <laughs> More training? How much more can you train after being personally taught by gods? Before leaving, Lord Indrath had given me one piece of advice. Oddly, he had activated his ether ability, freezing time for everyone present, even his wife, except for the two of us. And he had left me with a cryptic message. It's wisest to close your heart to the elf princess. You're right. I forget at times that the boy is your own age. Arthur is an anomaly of an entirely different sort, no doubt. I can only imagine what he would be like when he comes back after training with the Asuras. I'm back again just to say that if you're enjoying this video then a like and subscribe would be really appreciated i want to reach 50k by the end of this year so it would be of great help to me i also spent a lot of time editing these videos this video in particular took well over a thousand screenshots which is probably my highest to date so every bit of support is appreciated all right back to the video now was it you were you the one who killed Alea? That pretty little elf. What if it was me, brat? I really hope to meet you again, Uto. Whether or not we decide to proceed with the war, I really hope to meet you again, Uto. What can I do for my family after all this time? Where do I begin? I've been having that dream. My wife and children look like they're having fun around the dinner table. But you're not there. 
I wish that you could join them. But oh yeah. But are you really our son, Arthur? The Lance, the General, the White Corps Mage, was at that moment only a boy who had lost his father. The frozen clouds shattered, becoming a maelstrom of razor-sharp blades of ice that flew in every direction. The attack lasted ten seconds, no more, as if a sudden and violent storm had raged, littered with the blood-soaked corpses of hundreds of Alacrian mages. There were no cries of pain. They died with the air frozen solid in their lungs. Sylvie, it's time to go, I said. She reached up and wiped away the tears streaming down my face, but her hand came away red with blood. My blood. Arthur, you're not going to make it. I couldn't shield my thoughts from her in my current state. My mind was an open book. The portal isn't... It isn't going to stay stable for much longer, so... Please, I can't have you die too. On the brink of death, Arthur Lewin was dealt an impossible choice. Would he save himself along with his daughter and live to fight another day? Or would he sacrifice himself along with his daughter for the one he loved and made a promise? A promise that would ultimately not be kept. Or so he thought. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. I didn't really prepare anything for this, but I'm glad you guys enjoy my channel videos. If you do enjoy them, once again, I would appreciate if you could subscribe. The part two should come out soon. I'm gonna try to upload it as quick as possible, but clear warning it probably won't be as good as part one i don't think i have the energy to use this many screenshots in a video again it will still be good i'm not saying it will be bad but it just won't be like you could say this insane quality with which i might have even over tuned it a bit but yeah thanks and i do have an instagram as you could see in the intro it's over gacha i do want to grow it a little so if you could uh, i i would appreciate a follow to it i will link it to the description the credits to the video will also be linked in the description so if you want to use any of the edits yourself or talk to the creators then feel free to i do not uh, also small announcement i have deleted my discord account and my discord server so for any of my past views or anything yeah the discord is gone i won't be able to contact me there as i'm taking a break most likely a permanent or at least a five six month break from it all right thanks for watching i hope you i hope to see you guys in the next video